Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Pedovich here. Saturday night, uh, it's about midnight, so we're T-minus a couple hours from the first uh, snow, sleet, freezing rain, maybe even rain in some parts, uh, parts moving in. So let's give you your last vlog before this thing kind of moves in um, overnight. Oh, oh, this black screen's not great. Let me show you the radar there. There we go. Uh, there's the radar. Um, we've got temperatures on there, and if you look closely, they're mainly in the low 30s, but one of the things I'm watching are these temperatures up here dropping quickly. We've got a cold air advection, which just means cold air is streaming in from the north and east. That air is also really, really dry. So uh, evaporative cooling is taking place. So as this moisture comes up from the south and west, and you can really see it starting to accelerate here, um, this big plume of moisture. We're starting to see some reports of snow and sleet in this area, and likely some sleet mixed with rain down in the Midlands, but some of that's evaporating. And what I mean by that, it's falling into the air, it's drying up. But that process cools the air because when you evaporate moisture, you use up heat. Um, this is why you sweat. This is why you get cold when you have a shower. This is why you have misters on uh, patios in the summer, especially in the desert southwest, because when you have dry air and you throw water into it, it cools itself down. It works great. But look at all that moisture. Holy moly, that's a lot of moisture heading our way. And as long as the air stays cold at the surface, ugh, that, that's a lot of ice. You know, we've got freezing temperatures with basically a fire hose heading our way. That's not a good sign. And look at this upper low. So back to the southwest, we've got the upper level low. The surface low is there. Back here, this is cold air at all levels of the atmosphere. So if that gets over us, we actually would see all snow. But this first part is why we're going to get some of the ice. And just to show you some of those dew points, look at that. Teens and single. The dew point in Greensboro has dropped to 14. At one point today, it was like 30. Um, now in Charlotte, our dew point's down to 24. So the air is getting drier and it's getting colder. So temperatures in the 30s now, but as the precipitation falls, it's going to get pretty cold. So here's the bottom line. Prepare for an ice storm. Do not prepare for a snowstorm. This is not going to be a snowstorm. Let me slide over here. Um, this is going to be an ice storm. Sleep mixed with freezing rain. Sure, there'll be some snow, guys, but the snow is not going to be the problem. It's going to be the ice. Um, significant travel issues, power lines, all that deal. That is going to be a big problem over the next couple of days. So here's our storm. Um, I'll track it. I'll move myself back out of the way here. Slide myself down here. Um, you can see it moving in when you wake up in the morning, depending on what that is. For me, um, I probably won't be able to sleep much if I hear sleep pellets hitting my, my windows, which will probably wake me up first, or on my phone going off with alerts and people texting me. It's snowing, sleeting, doing whatever. But it'll be full on going in the morning, going into the afternoon, well into the evening, changes back to snow, and then moves out fairly quickly. So let me show you this hour by hour because this is the best way to do it. Look at those temperatures, 5 a.m. We're dropping, dropping. It's sleet, freezing rain. Oh, just a mess. I mean, it's yuck. That right there, 10 a.m., about as miserable as it gets. Um, hopefully, this is sleet. Uh, sleet's not great for the roads, but boy, uh, it is not looking pretty out there. You see that moisture coming up. Now, will this be rain or not? I still wonder, but that's getting pretty close to us. Um, our temperature is close to the freezing mark, maybe warm near the surface, but probably staying ice up in the trees the whole time. And then notice even as our temperature at the surface comes up, the temperature aloft, the warm nose, which is causing the ice, is moving away. So even though our surface temperature is warm, the air above our head is going to be getting colder as the upper low slides in. That thing I showed you on the satellite image, that's going to help cool the column of air down from top to bottom. And even though we're 33, 34 at the surface, that's okay because it'll be snow. The snowflake will be able to survive all the way to the ground. It won't have to go through the gauntlet of that warm layer. And then notice the scattered snow showers into the evening could cause additional slick spots and then really cold going into Monday morning, probably 20s and uh, not much of a warm up on Monday. I think we're stuck there. So here's my final ice maps. If you missed them, this is the story. You see that quarter to a half an inch of ice, okay, across most of our area. That's pretty significant. I'll go north a little bit. But that middle of the area, that's bad news. But we're going to combine that with some other bad news. Look at these northeast winds. 25 to 30, maybe even 40, 45 miles per hour tomorrow. Um, why is that bad news? Well, let me show you the scale. This is called the SPIA index. It's a Sperry Pitts Ice Accumulation Index done by uh, former power company workers and meteorologists that comes up with a parameter. It might be hard to read on your screen, but um, look at that quarter to a half an inch and 25 to 35 mile an hour winds gives you this right here. 
So the red, a three. Widespread utility outages with damage to main feeder lines and equipment expected. Tree limb damage is extensive. extensive. Outages could last three to five days. Will it be that way? That's what this index tells us when we get wind and ice like that. So I just want you to know that ahead of time, just so you're prepared. Now, as far as snowfall, yeah, there's still going to be snow, maybe one to two trace to an inch, somewhere in that range. It's really tough to tell across Australia because of all the mixing. I know it's not going to be zero. Let's just say that, but it's probably not going to be a whole lunch. If you were relying on an app, um, you're going to be sadly disappointed because uh, one to two is the max I'm willing to go with for the Charlotte area. And I think that's too high. Um, and I actually cut it back to a trace to an inch in some areas. But you see that big amounts in the mountains, that's still going to happen. That's a pretty good setup up there. So get ready for um, some good snow up there. So before I leave you, um, we'll go back to the radar because this is going to be a now casting thing. What I mean by that is it's going to be watching temperatures, surface conditions, and dew points. Um, and then getting reports from people out there. What's falling at your house? This is actually what I want to know. So if you can, um, tomorrow, go ahead and tag me. Take a video picture. Tell me your location, too. Oftentimes, say, hey, it's snowing here. And I'm like, where's here? Um, I wish I was best friends with everybody. I don't know everybody that well online, so I don't know where you're at. So give me a city. You don't have to give me your address. Uh, just give me the closest town or city to you and say, hey, Brad, it's 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever time it is. Uh, I got sleep pellets, um, which are ice particles. I've got rain falling. Um, and if you can give me the air temperature, I can figure it out and tell you if it's a freezing rain or not. Or I see snow or something else. Um, let me know, and I'll pass it along, and it'll help us kind of track this winter storm. Be safe out there, everybody. Um, stay off the roads if you can. Um, I think the main roads could be fine for a while until the ice really gets thick, um, but just be cautious. It's not going to be easy out there. It might catch you off guard and charge everything up because you don't know. Hopefully, we don't have widespread power outages, but I told my kids tonight, charge everything in the house, get the battery packs, um, even getting my gas fireplace ready in case that's my source of heat for a, a day or two. So have a great night. I will post the next vlog tomorrow morning, probably in the midst of this going on. Good night, everybody. I hope to get some sleep. I hope you do too.